Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, I was been doing some thinking, and you know, while starting another channel sounded good in theory, it takes up too much time and all that, and I'd rather devote all my time, video and time to Dirty Shoes Adventures. So with that being said, I know you're supposed to have one particular niche to make your YouTube channel grow. Well, it may not grow because I'm going to have more than one niche. You know, fishing, hiking, camping, talking, uh, working on this office, and, and whatever else. And I hope that it doesn't drive too many people away. I mean, primarily, it is going to be outdoors. But I want to throw in a little oddball thing here and there. And with that in mind, I'm thinking about um, starting, I don't, I don't really know what to call it, uh, Talks and Tips with Brandon, or Sunday Talks and Tips with Brandon. Uh, something to that effect. So let me let me know. Leave me a comment down in the bottom so I know what y'all think. Because that's what's important. You know, that's that's what I'm doing this for. And for the fact that I enjoy doing it. <laughs> um, it, it, I don't know what all it will include. I do have one thing today that I'm going to share with you. And this being Sunday... This will be the first Sunday Talks and Tips with Brandon, if that's what I go with. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll put all these in a uh, playlist so they'll all be grouped together. And you won't have to look for them or anything. If you heard something or seen something that you wanted to hear or watch again, you'll be able to find it a lot easier. But, y'all come around here. And I'm going to show you what I found. And I've been writing, been written on something, been writing on something that I think will help. I know it'll help me, but maybe somebody out there it'll help. So I'm going to move you all around here, and we'll check it out on the laptop together. So hang on just a second. Yeah, can y'all see from over there? I don't know if can or not. Here, zoom up. No, no. I got an idea. And if you wonder what I'm drinking, man, this is some good stuff. No, I'm, well, water's water. Well, no, actually, those are just better water. But these little island punch, that stuff is good. Now, if you're not into drinking water, and but need to, there's a good solution. It says zero sugar, but it's sweet. But I tell you, if you don't like Kool-Aid, you're probably not going to like it. Because it's, it's a lot like Kool-Aid. Alright, I'm going to try something different, but... Can, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Anyway, it's... Get that out of the way. Bala Boca, how do you say it? It's a text-to-speech. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little program. I had, uh, wasn't really going to share this, but it's pretty neat. I mean, if, if you like having stuff read to you, you can uh, copy and paste it into the app. I don't know if you can see that text. This is what I wrote, but let's see. This is actually what this video was going to be about, but here, you know. Kind of got my mind going on other things too. So, if y'all want to listen, and uh, hopefully you can hear. If you can't, I'll go back and edit this and put the vocal in there. But, I mean, let me turn it up. Yeah, I got the air conditioner going because this is Texas and. Sorry if y'all can hear it and it's too loud, but it's a fact. I'm not going to sit in an enclosed area with no air conditioner. Not intentionally, anyhow. Okay, let's get this going and 
see what y'all think. Let me know. Let's talk about something really important when it comes to being a YouTube creator, photographer, web designer, graphic designer, small business entrepreneur or whatever else you may be into. Time management. This is not a special laid out plan on how to manage your time better. Basically it is just one very important thing. This one thing will not affect your ability to become more successful, or is it? So here it is, but first let me ask you something. Do you work on video editing or optimizing your video or work on your projects while lying in bed, setting on the couch or even at the dinner table? Is your mind involved in your work more than half the day and not your surroundings? If so, you have the same problem I did and probably a lot of other people do as well. Here is one solution that in the last few days that I am finding out really can help. Do you realize how important it is to see the world with your eyes? I am not talking about becoming a world traveler. I am talking about spending time with your family and friends, and even alone with yourself. Spend time alone doing absolutely nothing except letting your mind explore new things and ideas. Stop and look around you or even out the window. Watch the birds, watch the leaves on the trees blowing back and forth. As a kid did you ever look up at the clouds and allow your imagination to make things out of them? You are never too old to use your imagination. Even if you can't see well or are blind, you are not dead. See with your ears. Listen to the sounds. Now that is a good one for everyone, listen to the world around you. That is a very important sense right there. Listen. Listen to yourself. Listen to your loved ones. Oftentimes we forget to listen and only hear. Yes there is a difference and I for one am guilty of that one. You may be thinking, what does all that have to do with time management? It is really rather simple. Seeing, listening, and using your imagination is all part of time management. However what I was wanting to share today is something that I think will help me the most, and quite possibly, help you as well. Not only does it separate work from the rest of the world, it also gives you a feeling of being at least a little bit more professional. Okay, so what am I talking about you may be wondering. A home office or a designated area in which you can work. And if that area is super comfortable and you could even sleep in that seat, get a different seat. I'm not saying get a metal chair. However get a seat that is comfortable but not so comfortable that you never want to get up. If you have a family, spouse, significant other, kids, parents or whatever, explain to them that what you do is work whether you get paid or not and you need to be alone to get the job done or work on the project. If you try to work setting on the couch and people are around, you are either going to be ignoring them, whether you mean to or not, or you are not going to be doing the best work possible. And ignoring them is the worst possibility. You can go back and usually correct anything you messed up on in your project. However a person's feelings cannot just be deleted and reworded or redone. So separate your work from the world around you. And do not let your work consume all your time. Work a few minutes or even a few hours. Then walk away. Remember, devote a set amount of hours to your work and leave the rest of those hours to yourself, your family or the world around you. I hope that while this is something rather basic and simple, it will help you be a better you. What do y'all think? 
me get this back around here where I can where, where y'all can see me hang on so anyway let me know down in the description what y'all think about what I wrote and my ideal of these Sunday talks and uh, whatever else is on your mind let's talk let's interact this uh, social distancing thing really kind of bites and while most of us thought it was going to get better eventually it's not doing so so far but it will have a little faith and hang in there um, and if the, the program that Bella Boca, however you pronounce that. If you're interested in that, I'm going to put a link down in the description to their homepage. There, I get nothing for it, so and it's free. And if you enjoy it, try it out. So I think that's going to be it. Y'all keep on keeping on, and we'll see y'all down the road. Bye.